Hello everyone, welcome to this short tutorial video on how to use SkyUI for Skyrim Special Edition. Because I got a lot of questions on my uh, Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition videos on how I did use SkyUI for Skyrim Special Edition. Well, the version I'm using is not the latest version, SkyUI 5 for the old Skyrim, no. Um, what I'm using is version 2.2 and why version 2.2? Because that's the last version that can be used without SKSE, Skyrim Script Extender. And of course, you probably know that Skyrim Script Extender is not yet available for Skyrim Special Edition. And there is one alternative for Skyrim Special Edition, and that is QD Inventory. You can just go to the page and go to Files and download it, and you had the normal version and the ultra widescreen version. And this is also a, um, a user interface overall. So you can take a look at that, see if you like it, but you probably are used a lot to SkyUI like I have, but yeah, again, normally you can't install it without SKSC, but again, version 2.2 will work without uh, SKSC. So what you need is the following file, and I want to thank Dart Exile for hosting this 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 file. I will make sure I will make sure I will link this as well in my video description. But the file belongs to him. What he did, he created an all-in-one version, which you can just copy paste into your Skyrim data directory, and it will remove uh, a no SKSC uh, warning pop-up, which you normally have if you install version 2.2, but uh, there is a fix for that, and what he did, Dart Exile, was just uh, pack that into one nice uh, archive so you don't have to do that workaround for yourself. So again, I will make sure I'll copy this as well, but credits go to Dart Exile for creating this really nice compressed archive. <clears throat> Sorry about that, I'm a little bit sick, so perhaps you uh, noticed that my voice sounds a little bit heavier than normally. But anyway, let's uh, go back to the file that you, what we have downloaded. Um, and that's this one, SkyUI ported version 2.2 removed warning. So you have a compressed archive and when you extract that, um, or let's just open the compressed archive, what you can do is just, you have this uh, the folder here, it says data interface. Um, this is just the data as in the Skyrim special edition data folder. So what you can do is go to your Skyrim special edition data folder then just drag and drop the data folder into your Skyrim Special Edition data, uh, main game data folder. And in my case, it's going to override files because I already did install SkyUI, the version we are going to use. But let's just do it anyway to prove you guys that it's going to work. And then that's basically it. That's uh, that's all. Uh, you don't need to do anything with Mod Organizer 2 or anything, but you only have to launch the game with it and... I'll do that so I can prove to you guys that it actually works and um, yeah, that the mod has been successfully installed. So let's wait for Skyrim to load. And there's no cutting in this scene. I, uh, I did record it uh, from the beginning. So yeah, here we are. I've connected my Xbox controller and uh, let's load up the game. Let's continue. <clears throat> Sorry starting to get sick that's uh, not a good thing of course but it always happens to me in december for some reason i uh, catch a cold or something but yeah let's hope uh, it gets over pretty quick so let's jump into the game all right here we are near a white run and we have a wonderful tower here and let me show you when you go to items as you can see we do have the sky UI and it is a little bit of an older interface so perhaps it's a little bit getting used to if you compare it with sky UI version 5 but i think for now it's a wonderful uh wonderful thing to use sky UI version 2.2 and uh, yeah until then we have to wait for sksc skyrim script extender to be released on skyrim special edition and then we probably will have sky UI version 5 pretty fast as well the only thing you should keep in mind is that you, um, when you want to craft things or go to a special menu, um, the old menu will pop up, so not this SkyUI menu. But for everything else, SkyUI version 2, that 2 works flawlessly, works fine. And uh, uh, at this moment I have my Xbox controller um, plugged in, so I can't click on the armor weight value, but you can sort, it, um, sort out all the items uh, on armor weight value, so yeah. For that everything works fine and all right that's pretty much it so um i hope this video helped you guys because i knew some of you don't know 
that you can use SkyUI version 2.2 for Skyrim Special Edition. So yeah, I hope it was helpful for you guys and I hope to see you at the next video. Take care and bye bye.